What's up everyone, it's XK Gaming. Today I have for you another build that will do a ridiculous amount of damage. I suggest you to uh, play this build now, since this is based uh this is built based on the uh, bug of this item, or I should say, uh, based on the uh, AMP, which is the while well, water is full, shot will drink your 35% uh, of your ward for 40% extra weapon damage. And there's a bug right now where you can trigger this effects uh, like a passive. So this gives us a crazy amount of damage since the damage multiplier of the 40% weapon damage is, uh, is quite a lot. First, let's take a look at our skill first. Uh, you will have to have a Berserker with spell shot. You cannot use uh, anything else. For the Berserkers, uh, health generate for better survivability since we will not uh, we cannot have any wars uh, left on us so we'll need uh, extra health regenerate uh, to make sure that we don't die and then we have low speed uh, we'll be mainly doing weapon damage so that's why and then bonus damage and damage reduction for better survivability when you trigger the uh, soak effects uh, which is the armor that we are using. Uh, it could do a uh, bonus damage on the slow enemy and frozen enemy. It will trigger the effects too with the uh, passive here. So we'll have frost damage and then this extra damage with icebreaker here. And then this one, an armor defense, you will have to put pawns in here. Uh, this is where you can trigger the box. And then the last one, I put it on the reckless range for better survivability. And then for the spell shot, I'm using the double spell. And then magic bullets, of course, for bonus damage. And then reload speed, just like here. And then spell cooldown rate, uh, fire rate as well. And then the glass cannon is also a must. You have to put points on both glass cannon and an arm defense. And then have red count for more passive. Bonus damage when we uh, cast our spell. Uh, we're using double buff buster. It will stack up the damage with the damage multiplier. With the AMP, it will do a crazy amount of damage. Uh, you can do a wall caster if you don't want a willow speed. But uh, I'm not putting any points here since I don't think it's necessary. And then I have the one slot one kill for bonus gun damage and uh, whenever we have the uh, gun critical hits it has a um, chance to reset our spell cooldown for the hero set i'm messing out the critical damage and critical chance and then i'll put the rest of the point on the maximum hp for better survivability and then for mid rank it's just whatever everyone is the same and then for the melee weapon it does not matter at all uh, you just have to have the uh, spell cast increase lightning damage for more damage. And then you can use the uh, source potion with this spell. It will do a crazy amount of damage for the um, bosses. And then you can have the life fire or whatever whatever weapon that you want to use. And you will need the spell cast increase uh, damage deal by 15%. But uh, it's really up to you for the weapon choice. And then for the ring, we'll want the shock swing. Uh, double stack on the gun damage. And then the sub stack is just really up to you. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is the only ward that you can use. Or well, as you say, you should be using. Uh, you can get the AMP stab with other ward as well. But I think it has only what 25% extra weapon damage. And full battery is the only ward that will give you 40% weapon damage. For the armor piece, uh, high threat count is a must. And then the rest of the points is just whatever. It's the best if you have gun damage on the armor piece as well. Or damage deal and fire right here. So it's a pretty perfect one. And then we get a uh, bonus damage on our lightning and force damage as well. That will perfectly match the um, passive of the Saker and our guns. And then we have lightning damage, spell shot power and then our damage deal. You can have the magazine size as well, but it really doesn't matter. And then both hands with uh, above master. So when you have both sk skill on with a uh, glass cannon and an arm defense, what you want to do is unequip your ward and then equip your ward again. And then just shoot to trigger the um, AMP effects with the glass cannon. And now you have the passive. AMP effects and that's it for the bill 
uh, I'm not sure when they're gonna change it or patch it so uh, take advantage now but uh, that will be it for today's video let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know if you have a better ideas as well don't forget to subscribe leave a like if you enjoy the video I'll leave the combat footage at the end and this will probably be my last um, Wonderland spill video for now unless they have the uh, DLC for release and maybe I'll come up with something but uh, yeah thank you all for supporting and watching if there's another video I'll see you in the next video Wait, they break.